Hi, I'm so excited because this is the second to the last episode on how to become a smart learning organization. Today, we are talking about criterion number six, which is digital transformation, global context, and sustainability. I want us to take us to look back at the 1800s or even early 19s where was no technology in African education system. Then pupils usually write with slate some, we write, they write in classroom with their blackboard and chalks, there were no gadgets, there was nothing like educational apps or e-learning platforms. Talking about Nigeria, I'm sure other developed countries had all this in place to see it. So, well, learning was still learning still took place then. But I tell you that with the use of technology, learning has been more effective. Digital transformation is the use of technology to improve effectiveness and efficiency in teaching and lesson delivery. Effectiveness and efficiency increases with the use of technology and when we talk about digital transformation is not just about updating existing technology it is about updating processes and procedures to incorporate digital technology to create better results so in your organization, the digital transformation is not just about you updating existing technology, moving from one e platform to the other. No, it is about ensuring that the process and procedures you are incorporating are creating better results, better organizational results, better academic results, better social skills or, the, or entrepreneurship results. Global context. Helps to build a shared language to identify specific settings and events to explore in your organization. So sustainability is the ability to support a process over time. A smart learning organization should be digital transformational. They should have global context and ensure sustainability. SLO which is smart learning organization strives to be sustainable in line with the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. Are you aware of these goals in your organization? If yes, that's good. If your answer is no, you could check up on Google to get more information about those UN Development Goals. So, in this digital transformation, these approaches ensure organizations are future focused and are able to respond rather than react to sudden changes in economic climate. Ask yourself, is my organization responsive or reactive? If you are reactive, that means you are not in line with the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. Nothing should catch you unawares in your organization. You should be proactive. Are you aware that education is one of the most important fields of human activity and it is the driving force of the society? And it's undergoing a huge transformation in the digital age. So you have to keep up with the current trends in the world, especially as regards education. Let's talk on the pointers of these criterion, which are first, global context and sustainability, two, innovation and digital transformation, and number three, environmental focus. Smart learning organization understands the characteristics of changing a generation on a local and global level. So you should solve problems locally and globally. 
monitor global trends on a regular basis. Their education stakeholders, school owners, even teachers are not left out. You have to monitor global trends in your organization, in your field. Are you aware of the global trends in education today, such as STEAM curriculum, entrepreneurship, gamification, blended learning, etc. Even e-learning, personalized learning, you should be aware of global trends in education. That's a long-term strategic plan that promotes sustainable growth, economic stability and process. Make your employees even your clients, which are the pupils and the parent, be aware of the sustainable development goals. Why? You're teaching them for now and you're also teaching them for the future. Innovation and digital transformation. Take a smart learning organization, take advantage of technological innovation. Are your pupils technological inclined? Can they make use of the system? Can they design some softwares on the system? Can they have personalized learning using the system? Are your teachers also educated on the use of platforms, even as simple as interactive board, which has a lot of features that could assist learning? It shouldn't just be for projecting lesson notes or writing on the board. There are other features on the interactive board. Train your employees on how to use them effectively. A smart learning organization creates a vision of digital transformation for each stakeholders. Create a vision for digital transformation in your school. That okay, you could decide that okay, we're looking at this global trend in education this term, but we're talking about this topic, we're training our teachers, we are focusing on these when it has to do with us. Pupils should have a vision for digital transformation. Remember, we said digital transformation is about updating process and procedures to incorporate digital technology to create better results. So incorporate digital technology and watch yours and see your organization getting better results. The next pointer on this criterion is environmental focus. A smart link organization has clear attitudes and policies towards environmental and sustainability issues. This you can get in the sustainable developmental goals. Like I said previously, check online, read, and if you'd like me to have, make a video on the UN Sustainable Development Goals, please put that in the comment section and I'll be glad to assist you. SLO takes into account potential environmental impact when designing product and service. In conclusion, education is one of the major tools in the global transformation. We need to keep abreast of the global trends in education to remain a smart employee, employer. Remember, sustainability is the ability to support a process over time. Make sure your organization is sustainable and digitally transformed and environmental focused and are innovative. Thank you. I can't wait to talk on the last point, last criterion on this series on smart learning organization. Thank you for being with me all the way. I can't achieve this feat without you. I'm grateful for those of you commenting, liking, and sharing, and subscribing. You are my real MVPs.